any distinguish between them. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon, respected all human being. He was sent as a mercy to all mankind. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. That's what he says. So, Muhammad was sent as a mercy to all mankind. He respected all human beings. Guys, is it true that Muhammad respected all human beings? Come on, CP. You can't refute that. It's 21, 107 of the Quran. He's a mercy unto all mankind. Come on. Refute it. The mercy, the mercy prophet in chapter 8, verse number 12. Can you show us, uh, Sam, what it says? Or is David? Verse 12, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me get it for you right here. Chapter 8, verse 12. Come on. He's a mercy. What's wrong with you, CP? I don't know why you have this anger in your heart. Yeah. What's wrong? Okay, let me read it for you. I don't know, man. This guy used to be nice. What happened? When your Lord inspired the angel saying, I am with you. So, so make those who believe stand firm. I will throw fear, terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. Then strike the necks and strike uh, their fingers, each of their fingers. Okay. Why Muhammad, after he captured his prisoners, he is cutting their fingertips. He is a mercy. If we go in the hadith, we will find, and this is in Sahih al-Bukhari or other hadith, we will find Muhammad. He captured a group of people who supposedly took some camels, uh, and he, uh, 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 and they killed. Uh, they said it says in the hadith, they killed the shepherd. He brought them. He cut their feet. He cut their hands, and he gouged out their eyes. That is torture. That is not a punishment. Punishment is something. And torture is something else. Secondly, uh, if I ask you, I don't know, David or Sam, is is a crucifixion is a something from Allah or from the Roman? Is that torture or this is a penalty? Friend, you're confusing me, CP. You're saying what Muhammad did was torture? Well, isn't it obvious putting nails in the eyes of somebody? But taking his merciful, CP. That's what the Quran says. That's got to be mercy. You just don't understand. That's merciful. <laughs> What about crucifying a person, put him in the cross, cutting his hands, cutting his feet, and putting nails, and let him die slowly? Is that a penalty or this is torture? He doesn't understand. Anything he does, even if it's torture, it's merciful torture. Come on, CP. It's merciful okay. torture. Okay. What is it? Is it too? Because maybe they will say to you, "This is a this is a hadith. We don't accept the hadith." Merciful. But isn't it, isn't it the Quran says in chapter five, verse number thirty-three? Yes. That the penalty of those who wage war against Allah, and by the way, here war is not about war as you think. As an example, now I'm waging war against Allah. I speak against Allah. So the punishment for me for doing that is, is cutting my hands, cutting my feet, and crucifying me and putting nails in my eyes. Now, CP, uh, curiously, I have two things for you. Isn't that true that this punishment in 533 is the same punishment that Pharaoh threatened against the sorcerers? He said that. He would crucify them or chop off their hands and feet of opposite sides? Absolutely. And here we notice that Allah and Pharaoh, they share the same penalty. What? So but Pharaoh was a messenger of Allah. Hmm. Not only that, this is a, uh, this is, this is a scientific mistake. Uh, I mean, history mistake. Because is the crucifixion is something done in the time of the Pharaoh? There was no crucifixion in time of it. There was impalement, but not crucifixion. Yeah. So here again, Muhammad is making the other stupid mistake. Okay. And why is adopting the Roman or the Pharaoh crucifixion? Exactly. Now, here's my, my question for you then. What do you do with Umm Kurfa? Was he merciful in torturing her, Umm Kurfa? Umm Kurfa, she, she was the enemy of the Prophet over the age of 80. He tied her legs in two camels and he ordered them to run in two different directions and he cut her two pieces when she was alive. Wow. And that's absolutely, thank God there's no video camera at that time. You see, Everything you saw in ISIS is nothing compared to the ugliness behave of Muhammad. Nothing. Yeah, but so, CP, that's Daif. Come on, Umm Kurfa, that's Daif, brother. Daif. Story, no, the story of Umm Kurfa is authentic and all Muslims believe in it. And not only that, they praise it. Not a single Muslim, he said it's not a true story. Okay. So, so, um, so uh, my Muslim friend, support good and righteousness. Um, you've said that Muhammad respected all human beings and was sent as a mercy to all mankind. And yet we know that Muhammad chopped people's body parts off, burned their eyeballs out with hot nails, um, and would have a woman uh, ripped apart by having oh, camels go in opposite directions. So tying her up to tying her body parts up to the camels and then making the camels go in opposite directions and ripping her apart. So Man, if that if that's mercy, I would hate to I would keep hate it. to see what violence is. Yeah, you if, that's, if that's the mercy. You know, yeah. 
Muhammad tried everything, uh, David. He tried everything to scare people. He started, terror have stages for Muhammad. So as an example, when Muhammad, he saw Muslim women, he said to them, oh women, give it charity. He want their money because most of you will go to hell. So in order to get your money, he scared the hell of you. Mm -hmm. And women start taking their ears and their bracelet and give it to Muhammad. Muhammad, he saw the Christian, chapter 4, verse number 47. He said to them, convert to Islam before Allah. He erase your faces and your eyebrows and he make your nose go inside your head and make you flat. If, if, if Sam, he can read it. Yep. And here, by the way, this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Here we go. He thread them and that will be done to you now. Not in the judgment day, the same as I did it to the Jews. I made them pigs and monkeys. So Muhammad, he thread the Christians. If you don't believe in me, Allah will do the following. Read it for us, Sam, please. Yes. Chapter 4, verse 47. O you who believe in the scripture, believe in what uh, we have revealed, confirming what is with you, before we efface faces, <clears throat> and then it says, by making them like the back of necks in the, in the parentheses, the commentary of Hadali Khan, without nose, mouth, eyes, etc., and turn them hindwards uh, or hindwards, or curse them as we curse the Sabbath breakers, and the commandment of Allah is always executed. Allah Akbar! Is it, this is a false prophecy, uh, David or Sam? Definitely. Because he promised... If you don't believe in me, Allah will do that to you. This is not in the judgment day because it says the same as we did already to the people of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. What he did to the people of the Sabbath, they did fishing in Saturday. Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys. So now after 1400 years ago, until now, not a single Christian, Allah, he did that to him. Additional false prophecy because it's a prophecy, isn't it? Yep. When I say Allah will do this to you if you don't believe in me, you know, and that is in his time, not after he died. If you don't believe in me, Allah will erase your faces and make them in a funny way. I mean, look, look, look at the description. How I mean, if you if you read this, you will get scared. Really, I mean, this is true. Imagine, <laughs> you know. <laughs>